The early morning train from Lviv is slow, but it's made it. The carriages are full of passengers, young and old, weary but relieved. For now, Poland is their new home. But this place is full of surprises because the train back into Ukraine is full of fighting spirit. Janina is a teacher and a painter heading home to Odessa, which she knows is in Putin's sights now. We need to be strong. And being strong means going home even though it might be very dangerous. Yes, of course, and uh, we have a good army, and I believe that our people, Ukrainians, uh, men, will, uh, uh, will win. In the middle carriage, there's a game of cards underway. One man's trying to cheat. <laughs> and for a brief moment, thoughts of war fade. A few seats down, we meet Marsha. Her husband and six-year-old son are 800 miles to the east. She can't get to them. So she's going to volunteer to help the war effort instead. I don't want to sit in Egypt or in uh, Polsha uh, when my family sit here. I hope uh, for this and uh, maybe uh, my husband or my family uh, can See, you. See me or I can return. <laughs> Nearly five hours later, we reach Lviv in western Ukraine. A lot of people I've spoken to here say they just don't have any choice but to come back into Ukraine. Their families are here. They need to be here. Whether they choose to leave or stay, Ukrainians are under enormous pressure as the weight of war bears down on them. Nick Martin, Sky News, Lviv in Ukraine.